So um, thanks to you, it's very estrogen filled out there and there's a lot of sexual double entendres going I mean, on. I mean, I think I gave someone a name. I hear he's walking <laughs> up and down the hallway telling everyone about it. I'm so embarrassed. What happened? I don't want to say. You have to. He made me name him and I, and I asked what he liked and I gave him a little name. Now it's disgusting. <laughs> well, now I gotta go find out what it is. I gotta you go should. research. I'll give you a little investigative work to do. <laughs> art, this is really art imitating life, isn't it? A little bit, a little bit. It is, it's, it, we like to say it's inspired by true events. <laughs> um, and that Katie and I, Katie and Nailon and, and I, uh, we co-wrote the script together. And and we have a very interesting dynamic, you know, that I, I follow the rules and she breaks them. And, um, you know, but that doesn't mean we can't be best friends. And it seemed like that was a, a story that women would be able to relate to and would want to go see, something that we would want to see. Um, but, of course, there is the world that it is set in, which is uh, one that Katie had a lot of experience in by running her own phone sex line out of her dorm room her freshman year of college.